Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I'm just doing an overview and I'm going to let you guys know about what games are having issues running with the standard SNES Classic Edition emulator. Um, so basically, I'm just setting this up for a friend of mine. And uh, what I've noticed is 60 games per page is the maximum without getting the C8 error when you power down. Um, so what I did for that was go to Settings. Pages, folder structure. I disabled pages and folders because uh, I like to just have one main screen so it looks just like your SNES Classic, just with more games. Um, so what I did was maximum games per page at 60. 70 gave me a C8 error, 80 C8 error, and 90 C8 error. So I didn't even bother trying 100. Uh, I stuck with 60. And I disabled pages and folders so that they're all on the main screen. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to point out um, is I found this, and I'll leave a link to this page uh, in the description. So someone's come up with a not currently working and what games exhibit problems lists. So Illusion of Gaia not working, uh, Terranigma, Dragon Quest 3, Star Ocean, Tales of Fantasia, Street Fighter Alpha 2, Far East Eden of Zero, Great Circus Caper, Top Gear 3000, Dragon Ball Z Hyper Dimension. So they are not currently working. Uh, what games exhibit problems? Treasures of uh, Rudris, and it tells you here, high res text is blurry. Uh, Saiken Densetsu 3, high res components are blurry. Uniracers, and this is what made me uh, start Googling, was Uniracers. Uh, I tried to install it for my buddy. And I tried many different versions of the ROM, um, and I, I kept getting an issue with the second player. So the second player was always floating above the track. And so I, uh, I, I googled this, and it's, it, everyone's having this issue. Smash Tennis, uh, the screen stretches outside of the confines of the TV. Earthworm Jim 2, audio issues. So that was another one uh, that I decided to... To fix and I'm going to show you guys um, how you're going to get these these uh, problem games running. Krusty Super Fun House, Graphics Corruptions, and Airstrike Force No Shadow, Garbled Graphics at Briefing, Blurry High Res Text. So this is basically going on right now. Um, these are the games that are having problems and not working. So if you have the latest version, um, 2.0.20.15. Uh, of, of hack g2 and the other thing you're going to need is retro arc 0 0.8 and this is also uh, under cluster m's github page so you will have to have that so if we look in my hack g build and i were to go actually let me just show you in the documents so in your documents if you have the hack g web installer which is what I recommend using because it auto updates. Inside of your documents, you're going to have a HackG2 folder. And then if we go to user mods, this is where you're going to want to place all of your H mods. So there's FB Alpha, Alpha CPS2, Gambat, which is Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Genesis, uh, Gloopin64, but I won't recommend trying N64 on this. I don't think the hardware is going to do it well enough for you. Uh, Meddefend PC. E Fast, this is for your TurboGrafx-16 PC Engine games, MGBA uh, for Game Boy Advance, Pico Drive, I believe this is for 32X, I want to say, and then your RetroArch HMod and SNES 9X 2010, and Stella would be for Atari. Uh, so basically all I've installed is RetroArch and SNES 9X 2010 um, through HackG. You would just go to modules, install extra modules, and then highlight the ones you want. So you would just do RetroArch and SNES 9X 2010, and you would click OK. I'm not going to click OK because I don't have my SNES Classic uh, connected right now. And then it's going to flash that over. So once you do that, basically if we look at any other game, so Battletoads and Double Dragon, we're going to go to the command line. You can see it's all Clover Canoe, and that's what the official 
emulator is and we scroll all the way to the end and it ends with period 600 the word period 600 so the issues we were having were earthworm gym 2 so you can see it looks exactly the same but if we scroll to the end here's what you have to add so this is dash so space between after 600 and then dash dash retro arc and then you would do the same thing for unirasers so if we go to unirasers scroll all the way to the end you can see i have 600 space dash dash retro arch or retro arc however you say it. and basically um that's going to make these games run through retro arc so i have tested them through retro arc on the snes classic mini and they work perfectly now. The only downside to having the games run through RetroArc is you will not be able to use the bezels included with the SNES Classic Edition. Uh, to get into the RetroArc menu, uh, um, while you're in game, you press Start and Select. Now I've changed mine to LR, uh, Start and Select, and the reason why I did that was so that it's not so easily accessible. Um, again, this is for a buddy of mine. I know he has two young boys, so you don't want anybody messing around with the RetroArch settings that's not familiar with RetroArch. So I wanted to make it as hard as possible to get into RetroArch. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Any any games that you have that are not running properly, just go ahead and do that through Hackchi. And then once you've added this and you've got all your games ready, synchronize selected games. And you know if you're familiar with Hackchi too, then I'm not going to go through the whole setup guide. You're going to have tons of videos of people doing this. Um, so I'm just giving you guys a heads up. There are some games that are currently having issues or not working at all. And this is the workaround is to use RetroArch. Um, so I just wanted to uh, give everybody a heads up. So really appreciate you guys watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, have a good day.